Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And today we're watching Bridge on the River Kwai. This is a patron request from Ian Poulin. Thank Ooh, you very much. Thank you, Ian. And yeah, so this is a definite classic. I've heard it over the years. Mm -hmm. You thought from the 60s. Yeah? I'm fairly certain it is. Let's see. Because the only member of the cast that I know of is the late, great Sir Alec Guinness. Ah. I'm very excited for this because I've only ever seen him in Star Wars. I, but I know that he had like a long distinguished career before, career that. before that so mm -hmm. i get to kind of see him in his in his prime yeah because i know well, that the man probably a bunch of other old stars that i mean i'll recognize might not know their names but mm -hmm. river kwai 1957 oh. wow where i was even born yeah that long ago <laughs> and then i'm fairly certain it, t it takes place in world war ii right so that's kind of the extent of my knowledge on that one okay but it, like I say, it's, just, it's a classic. I've heard it mentioned over the years. I'm mm -hmm. very excited to kind of see, you know, what the big deal is. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get watching. Definitely not drone footage. Yes. <laughs> William Holden. Hmm. I've heard that name. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a name I've not heard in a <laughs> long time. <laughs> Are those Americans? Uh, hmm. In the, like, getting out there? Could be. Definitely prisoners. Mm. It's probably so frickin' hot there, eh? Mm-hmm. Well, like we saw in the Pacific, it's also like like with like monsoons and it's, you know, yeah. like mud and bugs. Dengue and you know. There he is. Ah. Look at him, eh? Wow. And this is exactly twenty years before Star Wars. Mm. Right. Yeah, fifties and seventies, yeah. Mm-hmm. Put us in hospital. You know sick? You're never sick. Why you always play sick to me, sir? <laughs> yes, William Holden on the left, I think. Mm. I give you butt this morning. Both of you. That's what I mean. I... <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. You think I stole it? Along to that English kid we just buried over there. He willed that lighter to me for a favor. I... <laughs> you know, Weaver, I've forgotten who we just buried. Thompson. <laughs> oh. Here lies Corporal Herbert Thompson, serial number 01234567. How thin some of these guys are, eh? Mm hmm. Yeah, the Japanese had, you know, were responsible for some of the, like, absolute worst human rights abuses in World uh, War II. Like, Working people to death, like vivisecting people that were while they were alive. Uh, it was like Unit Seven Three One, I think, was one of their most infamous like torture units. Really? God, they're all exhausted. Let them stop marching here. Mm. Here's our our villain. Villain for the. <laughs> He kind of looks like the guy who played the pirate captain in Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Oh, so these are new prisoners. Okay, yeah. right. Wow, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that colonel doesn't know what he's in for. Hello! Are you supposed to salute a different army? If you're a soldier and they're soldiers. Mm -hmm. Not sure. I am the commanding officer of this camp. You British prisoners have been chosen to build a bridge across the oh. river Kwai. It will be pleasant work requiring skill. Yeah, sure. Pleasant work? Escape is impossible. You would die. I think I'd rather die in my own terms, though, right? Yeah. Jumping into the ocean or whatever. Mm hmm. You always get the men to their quarters. Tell Tipton to see who's sick. I'm going to have a word with this fellow. Very good, sir. Colonel! Oh. <laughs> uh, you may have overlooked the fact that the use of officers for manual labor is expressly forbidden by the Geneva Convention. He probably doesn't care, right? Mm. You'd think rain would be welcomed, but not if it's monsoons and... Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Eh? Not if it rains for like six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but see, they think everything should go by. We'll go by the... The rules of war here at the Geneva Convention and whatnot, but that guy doesn't care, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Oh, sir, this is Commander Shears of the United States Navy. Good. 
How do you we, do, sir? We found him and an Australian in the hospital here. They're all that's left yeah. of the prisoners who built the camp. The U.S. Wow. Navy out here. Hmm. And your group here? Mostly Aussies, some Lyme. Oh. oh. <laughs> Other causes of death? Famine, overwork, bullet wounds, snake bites. He looks pretty healthy, though. Yeah, him and the other grave digger. Yeah. Mind you, yeah, I guess, if you're out digging and... I think he understands the situation now. Is that so? Yes, I must say he seems quite a reasonable type. <laughs> oh, you're very naive about this. I thought he'd <laughs> give him a word or two about what it's been like. In Singapore, hmm. we were ordered to surrender by command headquarters. Ordered, mind you. Hmm. Therefore, in our case, escape might well be an infraction of military law. That's kind of convoluted, isn't it? Yeah. Well, come back in a few days, he might change his mind, I think. Yeah. Based on what the American has already had happen and mm -hmm. seen. And... Your officers will work beside you. This is only just. For it is they who betrayed you. Oh, yeah. It is they who brought you here, not I. They will join you. I guess the idea was the commanders didn't want the whole like regiment to be like slaughtered. Yeah. Better to live and fight a fight another day. But to the Imperial Japanese, you know, the samurai code Bushido. Yeah. Surrender is like the worst form of dishonor. I must call your attention. Uh he's gonna burn that book. See the code specifically states that the There you go. Diverse in the ranks. Hmm. My officers will not do manual <laughs> labor. We shall see. Who's going to die first here? He's just going to shoot one of them, probably. Or... Mm. Hmm. Yeah, and like the colonel can't, the Japanese one can't have them all killed because he needs people to work on the bridge. Exactly, yeah. Well, about to dig eight graves. Yep. You will order your officers to work. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. Come on, Colonel, it's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Is this your soldier's code? Murdering unarmed men? I mean... You know, give a shit. Japanese soldiers did yeah. a lot worse in the war. So they'll say, give them guns. See if they can shoot back against the... He's just going to leave them standing out there in the sun. Mm-hmm. Oh, There's certain advantages to being on the sick list. I'll say this for the old man. He's got guts. Into the valley of death, rode the six. Hmm. Yeah. God, I wonder how long they've been here. Ugh. Like, all day? Yeah. It's like one of those game shows where they have them stand on a post for whoever stands the longest wins kind of thing, but... Yeah. This is not the good kind. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're back. Yeah. Still only one officer down, though. Yeah. These guys are tough as nails. Colonel Saito says, all officers to punishment hut. What have we got going on, hey? Well, just telling him, you know, the futility of trying to yeah. resist or, you know. After standing, it would so hurt your legs to try and bend them upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh. Oof. Do you know you think even with like that many guys saying that many guns, that many people could run and overtake them? Yeah, you'd think. Mind you, there's a with the machine got that other machine gun thing. Yeah. The machine gun, but also like you said, you know, even yeah. if you say like overtake the camp, yeah, you're on an island, you know. Yeah, this long shoddy. Yeah, and you know it's a byproduct of the fifties. You know they can't show us say like too much like blood or whatever on screen, oh, but yeah, we're left to kind of infer what happened to him. Ugh. Hot box. Just like uh, Kerry Washington and Django. Oh, yeah. Because hmm. he seems to be like a good commander, yeah. like looking out yeah, for his they, men. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Trying to escape. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Ooh. So he's with them. Looks like. Oh, oh no. What's that? Uh, hard to tell. Is that Robert Mitchum? 
Is that his name? Well, no, William Holden. William Holden. <laughs> Mitchum. What movie am I watching? I don't know. What are you? <laughs> I, I don't know. Hey, he made it. Ah. Just like uh, Aragorn. Yeah. But he did get, did he get shot? I think so. Yeah. Hopefully just in the leg or something or, you know. Mm. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> They'll jump in. <laughs> They gotta work on their communication a little bit. Or must even respect those who tried. For a brief moment between escape and death, they were soldiers again. Hmm. I could have them all shot. Then who would build your bridge? Mm -hmm. As he pointed out, it's against the rules. Do so not speak to me of rules. <laughs> this is war. He really doesn't want to hear about the Geneva Convention. If his officers will not work, no. I'll be forced to close the hospital, and your patient will work in their place. <laughs> and he will be responsible. No, you are. Go. Mm. Sir. Oh, he's the doctor. Okay, that's why the Red Cross in his arm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How are the men? Fine, sir. Fine. Give him the damn water. Oh. Jennings. Poor brave lad. I warned him, didn't I, Clifton? Sometimes you you just ha would have to, right? I just can't stand it. I have to go. Or... Yeah. I just had a word with Saito. That man's the worst commanding officer I've ever... <laughs> <laughs> it's a question of face, pure and simple. And he can't give in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to change your, your strategy if the person you're dealing with won't abide by the rules, quote-unquote, yeah. right? Wouldn't the officers be better off working? Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. suffocating in that hole. Men are doing a wonderful job. They're going as slow on it as they dare. Yeah, like, a, a dead hero is still dead. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But don't you see it's a matter of principle? Yeah, but principle in the jungle, in the war. Yeah. No. They'll be buried with her principles. It won't matter to him, yeah. No one will ever know or care what happens to us. We'll be able to get you a little something from time to time. We've bribed one of your guards. Oh. Well, that's good. At least the, the guards are open to... They're out in the jungle, too, so they'll have anything that gives them a bit of comfort. That's the thing. Like, any yeah. kind of a remote prison, it's as much a prison for the guards, because yes. they can't go anywhere. Yeah. They're away from their families, too. And... Yeah. Here is where we must win through. Clifton, you got the con. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Should a tragedy occur, it would be tantamount to murder. He is responsible. It's a battle of wills, battle really. Of wills, yeah. And who suffers, right? Everybody under them. Mm-hmm. Are they both mad? Hmm. Yeah. Am I going mad? Ask him. Are you? Do you think you're going mad too? <laughs> What's happening to us here? Ugh. Where's he gonna go though? Yeah. Yeah. How are you gonna? Jeez. Looking a little rough, eh? A little. He yeah. He's doing pretty good there. And it's not like he's gonna find somewhere with water and food or. Mm hmm How are they getting fresh water, though, at the camp, I wonder, right? Filtering e it somehow? Either they have a source or they get it, like, shipped in. Mind you, you said, like, dysentery and stuff, and that's from bad water. Well, the, they would have the prisoners drink. What is that? It's like a it's kite. A kite. It's like... What? Oh, it's children. Oh, it's a little village. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. What island are we on? They didn't say. But he did go into the water and end up somewhere else. It was like a river, I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, somewhere in, like, Indonesia or, you know, oh, okay. the yeah. Pacific. Because they're not Japanese, those people. No. They're on this island, right? Yeah, maybe, like, Filipino or... Yeah. Oh, because they're behind, he has to kill himself? Is that kind of what that insinuated? Maybe, yeah. Why does the Brits... Not progress. Because your officers are lazy. Hmm. That would make that much difference with five more guys. Yeah. I admit to you the failure of a member of the Japanese staff. I refer to Lieutenant Mura. He is a bad engineer. Oh, jeez. Uh. I give presents to you all. Presents? Extra food or... Water. Uh-uh. 
Ash! Ash! Yeah, he's getting nowhere with the sticks, and now he's trying with the carrot. Yeah. Take a look at this! Red Cross! Oh! He's giving us all! Hey! Yeah, your Red Cross parcels. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on out! Babe, again! Again! <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that guy, that tall guy. Yeah. Like an older in another movie. Mm-hmm. And the doctor, I think we've seen him before. Yeah. He might have even yeah. been in The Great Escape or one of You're those. You're right, yeah, because his voice is very familiar, especially. Oh. Oh, look out! Oops. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, look, they're all happy. They're... Oh, no. Yeah, the other thing, would you try... I guess you'd have to have inspections every day, but... Would you trust a bit a bridge built by prisoners? Like, I mean, he needs he needs help. Mm-hmm. Why are they doing it all quiet? Like, I guess he doesn't want to lose more face of whatever. Yeah, or like you know, seeing him out will give them a hope. I get maybe. So. A... What a good actor, eh? Oh yeah, he's Look really him, he just really selling it. Well, and, and not just like the, you know, like, say, physical immense, like, pressure he's under, but just, like, the dignity or trying to maintain, like, say, strength in the face of yes. being so exhausted. Yeah. And, and now the colonel's going to try and sweet talk him. Mm-hmm. You're going to eat in front of him? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, he's going to give him food. Oh. English corn beef. Oh, he's really trying, hey? Mm-hmm. I prefer to suck it. I spent three years in London. Good lord, he don't drink alcohol after what he's been through. Be on the floor in two minutes. <laughs> I intend to make a full report of your activities in this camp. Jesus. Officers are walking along the entire railway. You know it. I know it. I'm not responsible for the actions of other commanding officers. Personally, I'm appalled. <laughs> No, thank you. He's pulling out all the stops here. Yep. Hmm. And he knows if he kills him, he won't get shit out of the men, right? Yep. Go slow as molasses and... Can't kill you, still need you. That's right. What would you do if you are me? Uh, I suppose if I were you, I'd have to kill myself. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Screw it. Perhaps you are not aware that the bridge is now under my personal command. Really? And may I ask, are you satisfied with the work? <laughs> I am not. You sure bringing him down, eh? Because he's like shaking and. Yeah. Oh, I the he stabbed the glass. <laughs> Take him back. Mm hmm. But he'll. He's planted a seed now with those officers that can yep. help with the bridge building. Oh, it's better. <laughs> Sending them off. He lost a little bit of the glossy tan, though, eh? He did, yeah. Maybe he's been inside for a while. He's having a grand old yeah. time. It's like a totally different movie. I feel like we're about to burst into song. Yeah. <laughs> he's still in there? Mm hmm. Oh, that's him there. Oh, I see. Yeah, they took him to a certain point and then. Oh, and then they gave him the. No, no, don't do it! Oh. I mean... You'd be so sick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. But your body wants water, and you see water, even if it's salt water, right? Yeah. Oh, where's he going to end up now? Out in the middle of the ocean? He's drifting. Oh. He wants to go with his idea of having those two other officers. Mm-hmm. Because now he's... He's got no choice, right? He's running out of time. The work needs to be done, And he'd so. probably rather not kill himself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jeepers. Yeah. Look at his rib. Yeah. And that guy's got no teeth. Yeah. Well, he's just going to fall down. He? Sheer will holding him up. Yeah. He doesn't want to see the, the man to see him, though, right? Mm hmm. Oh, stairs. Oh, oh God. My old enemy. Yeah. Look at him. He's probably going to collapse as soon as he gets inside. Mm-hmm. Jesus, look at him. Yeah. He's like a ghoul. The anniversary of a great victory over Russia in 1905. They had a grand victory? Yeah. 
Yeah, they fought with the Russians uh, over in, say, like, Siberia or, like, the North, like, Mongolia region. Oh. Uh, As part of this amnesty, it will not be necessary for uh, officers to do manual labor. He's done it. Uh, uh. Right on. <laughs> Don't touch him, he might be so frail. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do something horrible, is he? I'm gonna do something. Let oh. the officers out shoot them or something or Well. We'll see. I've learned in these you can never trust anything, right? Mm-hmm. Colonel's like, okay, I just need a bed and some food and <laughs> uh, <laughs> had no choice. Yeah. Yeah, like you say, it's interesting we're getting so much from his perspective, yeah, you know? Yeah, Like, how much strain he's under. And... Well, and it would be totally different if this bridge wasn't involved, right? If they just was the, the commandant or the colonel of the camp, and yeah. he would be meeting out more punishments, I think. Mm -hmm. He needs this damn bridge built. Well, it took three or maybe four the others help in the hospital, sir. Oh, he was took terrible sick, sir. <laughs> he was okay. Exactly how many men he has under him at all times. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh no. Funny news, and I'm sure it's done with the best motives, but it's not military behavior. Boy, he's a hard ass, eh? One for the rules. Yeah. As I was trying to tell you a while ago, sir, the Japanese couldn't have picked a worse occasion. Jeez. Oh, Did they only have the one engineer that could check this job out, or? Uh. Some of those parties are actually working against each other. <laughs> oh, one's screwing it in, and one's unscrewing. <laughs> It's kind of neat, eh? They yeah. float across. Yeah. Listen, in Western methods and efficiency that will put them to shame. We'll show them what the British soldier is capable of doing. One with how far and how widespread all the extras are with yeah. doing all their various tasks and. Yeah. Well, or swimming. A lot of them are just swimming. Yeah. You mean you really wanted to build a bridge? They're not usually so slow in the uptake, Evans. <laughs> Tell me what you want, and Hughes and I will organize it. What do you think? Can we make a go of it? We'll do our best, sir. Fine. So he's saying really build the bridge? Yeah. To get them into shape and... Give them something to focus on. Yeah. Colonel Saito, I've made tests. And those piles of yours could be hammered below water level before they'd hold. That bridge would collapse under the first train to cross it. Then you'd really have to kill yourself. Especially if it's the inaugural with all the... the witnesses and... people and important... <laughs> we build a new bridge at the site selected by Major Reeves, 400 yards downstream. Mira just kind of shambles away in shame. Yeah. So I must ask you, Colonel Saito, to lend us some of your own men to reinforce the railway gang so that the final stretch of track can be completed as quickly as possible. I have already given the order. He's getting pissed, eh? Oh, well. Or is he, like, beat down? That, but also it's like how badly he kind of planned it out, so now you have to, like, yeah. overcorrect yeah. to get back on track. After all, we mustn't forget that we've wasted over a month through an unfortunate disagreement, yeah. which I was not to blame. Uh. The meeting is closed. Good night. Good night. Said he hated the British, and now he's got to work with them to and let them take the lead on building his bridge. Well, and they're so much more efficient at planning and working yeah. it out than he was, you know. Well, they've done it before. He just was like. Well, did he say he was an engineer? He did, because he said his father... Yeah. He knew he changed from something to engineering, but... And if he were, say, like, a civilian, like, he had a firm or something, he would have planned it proper, but... Yeah. In a military setting, and... Meanwhile... Where's the other guy floating out to sea somewhere? Oh! Ooh. He must have made it somewhere. Yeah. Or somebody picked him up, or... Out to the Vinia Hospital. Ooh, a much better place to be, hey? Fantastic. Yeah. It's like a tropical vacation. <laughs> Boy, he's come a long way. He has, I mean, yeah. He was just floating, dying here. Go. It almost feels like a second movie has been kind of injected yeah. into this one. Yeah. With this whole adventure, and they're gonna want him to help go back and find where they are, right? Yeah. I belong to a rather rum group called Force Three One Six. Among other things, we have a particular interest in that railway. You. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Wherever this is, eh? Yeah. I wonder about where they filmed this in like yeah, Hawaii, like Hawaii or, or definitely yeah. someplace yeah. tropical, just very clumsy, Joyce. Oh. Very clumsy. Always use your knife immediately, Joyce. Immediately, man. You see, he's gained the initiative. 
<laughs> Major Warden, sir. Yes? Oh, very good of you to come along. I hope they've been taking care of you. Well, they certainly have. <laughs> that last little pop was made with a lump half the size of this. It's twice as powerful as Jellic Knight and only half the weight. Here. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you need a detonator yeah. in it. <laughs> By itself, it's harmless. Yeah. Go ahead. Look at the view he's got. Fantastic. Oh, I'm dying for a cup of tea. Like, did they displace people here? Or just like a resort? I'm not sure. They want him to go back. Or yeah. help them. Don't you think? Maybe? Yeah. Parachute drop and then march. With demolition <laughs> equipment through that jungle? Yes. Our chief problem. There we go. And they've probably got from his commander, commanding officer or something. Something. Because he thinks he's going, yeah. How would you feel about going back? <laughs> no freaking way. Yes, your navies turned you over to us. Uh, signal arrived uh, yesterday morning. For That's such a raw deal. Yeah. I'm not a Navy commander. I I'm not even an officer. Ooh. No, the whole thing's a fake. I'm just an ordinary swap jockey second class. Ooh. You making that up? Hmm. When the Houston sunk, I made it ashore with an officer. Ah. Uh... I figured it was just a matter of time before I was captured, so... So you changed mm. uniforms with a dead man. An officer would have a better chance of... Yeah. Said to myself, oh, let's let it ride along for a while. You know what? I respect it. Absolutely. Would have done the same yep. thing. Yep. And what he went through and everything. Yep. An American commander named Shears, and he doesn't exist. When the Navy brass learns the truth about me, they'll say... Oh, so the Navy thought that Shears survived. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, everything. Would you uh, care to have a look? Oh. You see, we've known about your uh, uh, actual rank. They don't care. Doesn't matter. You've still been there. Yeah. But at the same time, they can't very well bring you home and give you the Navy Cross for impersonating an officer, can they? It'd be a major embarrassment. I suppose that's yeah. why they were so happy to... <laughs> oh, 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 man, you got screwed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Colonel Green, sir, this is Major Shears. He's just volunteered to go back and help me blow up the Quiet Bridge. Good show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you for this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that already looks like ten times more stable. Yeah. Will someone tell me why the old man wants us to build a proper bridge? Don't you worry about old Nick. He knows what he's doing. They really respect him, eh? Mm-hmm. Can see why now. Yeah. But at the same time, he, he's actually, you know, helping out the enemy yeah. more effort, yeah. so. What we're doing could be construed as, forgive me, sir, collaboration with the enemy. Perhaps even as treasonable activity. Are you all right, Clifton? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You're a fine doctor, Clifton, but you've a lot to learn about the army. Wow. Hmm. It's like, okay, glad I brought that up. Yep. Ooh. All right, it is. These gentlemen are thinking of taking you for a little hike into the... <laughs> <laughs> a little hike? I love all the turns mm -hmm. of phrase and... Yeah. Think about this. Are you quite sure you'll be able to use it in cold blood? I know how to use it, sir. That's not what I meant. Yeah. yeah. You kill without hesitation. That's a question... I've often asked myself, sir, it's, it's worried me quite mm. You don't really know until... Am I to go with the team, sir? We'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Our people will call your people. Well, sir, he's Canadian, and that's in keeping with the international composition of this outfit. If he wants to go that bad, he can even take my place. Uh -huh. <laughs> L pill? L for lethal. Instantaneous? Painless. Cyanide, Ah. The consensus of opinion is that the most sensible thing for Major Shares to do is to go ahead and jump and hope for the best. <laughs> the most sensible thing? <laughs> with or without? Laughing so he doesn't cry. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. I hope our Canadian guy doesn't get killed right away. No, I feel like he'll rise to the occasion, you know. You okay? Oh no. Passed out. 
or yeah. dead. Hmm. Which guy is that? Not sure. Okay, so there's Shears. There's Joyce. Right, the young guy there. Yeah. Women bearers. No, they're very capable, I'm told. What about Chapman, sir? The eyes people will bury him. Oh, he died. Aww. Why can't they walk where they're walking? Well, the women are carrying, say, like the a lot of the gear. Oh, I see, and they don't want to be. Yeah, and, okay. and these guys are like yeah. forging a path ahead. Water, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> Not the time or place. You need to pay attention, though, for... You're lovely. Oh. She doesn't speak English? No. Be happy in your work. Oh, no. <laughs> Leeches. Huh? Leeches. Ugh. Mm, pull them off, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, you have to burn them off, I think. And watch out for, like, snakes and mm -hmm. venomous frogs and... I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's wet, mildewed, corroded, yeah. rotten. Like everything else in this rotten jungle. Oh, well it's back it. in it again. Oh. oh. There you go. It worked. In the old days, bang the TV on the side, it would work. Percussive maintenance. Enemy intends to open railway with passage of special train Bangkok for Rangoon with troops and VIP. Ooh. Goody. We could get the VIPs, eh? Yes. With there you go. This train for good hunting. Have fun. That's all, sir. Have fun. Have fun. Wow. Yeah. Really coming along. We just have the manpower, that's all. I've asked the officers to lend a hand, and they've agreed, but even that won't do it. I beg your pardon. In fact, that's what I came to talk to you about, the sick list. No reflection on you, but there are always a few malingerers, aren't there? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Man may not be on the top of his form, but he can still make himself useful. Mm. Fetch and carry a spot of paint here and there. What do you say? Yes. Good show. I don't know about this. Well, he's yeah, he's going to the other extreme again, to, because he's going to show them by God that the British can get it done and whatever. But mm -hmm. all these poor buggers. Is it building the resentment building? Uh, yeah, I think so. Whoa. Uh, oh, uh, look at that. It's like in Temple of Doom. Yeah. They're not birds, Willie. They're <laughs> giant vampire bats. <laughs> beautiful, though. Yeah, such beautiful, like, locations mm -hmm. they, they filmed in. It'd be fun to spend the day there, eh? Yeah. Such such cool, like, pools and yeah. little, like, waterfalls and rock formation and... Uh-oh, you're gonna come? Oh, god damn Get down, it. get down, get down! Just play it off like local women, you know. Yeah, but these are... Yeah. Oh, he's gonna throw. Grenade. Ooh! Woke up all the bats! Yeah. <laughs> wow. And it goes on and... Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Those Japanese soldiers spilled their red paint. Yeah. <laughs> How careless of them. Oh. Come on, gotta wait. Shit. Come on, boys. Go get him. Otherwise, you're screwed in the whole thing here. Here's your chance, Joyce. See if you can do it. Yeah. I think we're gonna lose our young Canadian here, eh? Uh. Ah! Oh, God. He's uh, a kid. Oh, shit. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. He's still a soldier. Yeah, I remember uh, Winters when he shot that kid. Yeah. I was ready. It's okay, it doesn't matter. One of us did it. Ooh. Oh, he got cut. Doesn't even look like his shoe is on right. Hey? Well, he's got like a... Like a covering over his pant leg. I yeah, think. yeah. If he just had like a sandal strap on the bottom, something. Yeah. Jeez. Oh no. What are the... I, I'm confused. So that's the, the other two with all the other women. She's gonna... Oh, she's sticking with him. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Climbing rock face here now. Jeez. Uh, He'll never climb up there. Poor bastard. He'll yeah. die of, like, you know, gangrene before anything. Yeah. What are you doing? I didn't give all this for a halt. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're still five hours fast march from the objective. Five hours. 
you can barely last five minutes. Yeah. Like he doesn't know it, but I do. You'd leave your own mother here if the rules call for it. Hmm. He's British and the rules, eh? Yeah. You and that Colonel Nicholson, you're two of a kind. Crazy with courage. For what? How to die like a gentleman. How to die by the yeah. rules. Mm -hmm. When the only important thing is how to live like a human being. Uh. Oh, they made a litter. They call it a litter? Stretcher. Stretcher. Okay, go ahead. Where you go. Yeah. No. Can't do it, eh? Why not? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You're all damn day with him. Hmm. Pick him up by the sore leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he can still be helpful yeah with the intelligence and stuff so and this gives his leg a somewhat yeah, a decent chance, chance to, to heal and yeah. like damn it i just got out of here oh wow that other majors can be or colonels can be really mad when they blow up the bridge right the, the british yep. one nichols yeah or nicholson nicholson i think yeah wow by jove they've done it and it's the 12th remember he said we have to be there or the the inaugural ride is sundown on the twelfth or something. Well, they said they would get there by sundown on the twelfth. Oh, okay. There's poor devils down there. Imagine being forced to build something like that in the condition they must be in. <laughs> if you only knew. Yeah. This may be a trap ride into hell, but it was forged of our own decisions. Uh. uh. <laughs> and since we don't know what time it's going to cross tomorrow morning, we'll have to do the job man. To stand here and throw it. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, I see them. Uh, that's our key position. It's on the wrong side of the river, but it's the only hiding place. Looks to me like you're on the wrong side of the river. Oh, <laughs> from the mummy. <laughs> Benny, <yeah>. like. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Did the other guy understand? Do you have to translate for him? He's just like <laughs> listening, but. <laughs> when it's over, I hope you get that medical discharge. <laughs> Not the hard way. Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of a respect or friendship yeah. blooming between these two. Well, to stand up to him and just say, be an idiot, get on the thing, and let's go. Mm hmm. Oh, he's getting ready to fight the predator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Arnie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming out all covered, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. Yeah. She seems sweet on him. Yeah. Damn, that's a good bridge. Yeah. It's funny, I haven't thought of him as Obi-Wan for the whole movie, right? I know, yeah. Some actors, you do that, right? You just you can only see them one way. And... and it is unfortunate to a degree that, like, the success of Star Wars has completely overshadowed, you know, his sort of his other legacy. And, yeah. You know, so it's nice to see him back sort of in his prime, like the work mm -hmm. that he probably would have taken a lot of pride in, you know? Yeah. But this is a great performance. Tomorrow it will be 28 years to the day that I've been in the service. Wow. <laughs> I suppose I've been at home more than 10 months in all that time. Wow. Something suffers, eh? You ask yourself... What am I going to leave behind? What the sum total of yeah. your life represents. Yeah. Because this bridge, you know, it becomes his legacy in a way. Yeah. But they're going to blow it up. Oh, uh. no. His countrymen are going to blow it up. There we go. Yeah, the tra traditional soldier's drag act. Yeah. I feel fantastic. Hmm. Lovely. Oh. Aww. See how the camera's following along, eh? Yeah. They had to have a clear path down there for that. Mm-hmm. So what have they got on there? Explosives? Yeah, so they're gonna kind of like row or re oh. swim to the bridge, plant the bombs oh, at okay. the base of the the piles, like the, right. the big beams. Then they're gonna come back. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. What? Because the British did it? Is that what? Oh, what's, oh. He, what's he doing? Well, cutting off like his... Top knot? Top knot, yeah. Or at least like a... Oh, some of his hair. Ceremonial, yeah. Ooh. Don't sneeze or cough or step on something sharp or go, ah! Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Your heart was just pounding right at your chest. Yep. 
As you know, most of you move on tomorrow to a new camp and new construction. Oh. Now that your work here is finished... What do you think's going on? I don't know. You're going to feel very proud of what you have achieved here. Sitting in the skirt and top today, it's working. In. Yeah. Here in the wilderness, you have turned defeat into victory. Hmm. I don't know. I think all hell's going to break loose here at the end, right? Yeah. Because what is the, uh, what is Saito doing? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. D does he maybe feel shamed that? You know, like, this officer here is such, like, a yeah, better officer maybe. than him, or he could get the job done so Or much. is their idea to kill them all, or kill, like... Yeah. Boy, that actor went above and beyond, eh? Yep. Oh, they've got the other part of the line, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the plastic itself does nothing unless you plug in like a detonator, right. which I think yeah. sends like an electrical charge to set off the explosion. Oh, okay. So you would have like a little like hand crank or like a little thing where you you, you would activate it from yeah. afar. That's yeah. what the cord is about. Professor says there's always one more thing to do. <laughs> I can't think of what it could be, except to wish you a long and happy life. <laughs> Thank you. You got this, Joyce. Yeah, I can do it, buddy. Represent our country you proud. Got that, you've got lovely waiting for you there. Mm hmm I guess it'll be time as soon as they hear a train, right? Mm-hmm. Be afraid to fall asleep. Mind you, you'd hear something, but... Yeah. The river's come down. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shit, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Shit. They're gonna have to just blow it anyway, right? Yeah. Look how much it went down. Here's the whistle. Oh, no, they're gonna be on the bridge. Let's see the other guy, the other British officer, the hurt one. Yeah. While this is going on. Oh, didn't they say they were going to another camp, right? Yes. Right. So they're marching where the wounded can be taken on the train. Yeah. Said. Yeah. What else can you do? Wait yeah. The train. Be like, do it. Yeah, buddy, you gotta just... Like, just yeah, signal. Something. If you don't mind, sir, I'll watch the ceremonies from up on the hill. Why, you'll get a better view from the bridge. Oh. Oh, it's hard to explain, sir, but I'd rather not be a part of it. Hmm. He's gonna be on the Boy. bridge. Rivers Which is appropriate in a way. Well, yeah. Eh? What's his? He's gonna kill him. Is he? Is that his steal? Uh, could be. Because of all the. Like then he'll take credit for everything. And... Yeah. You can see it. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Don't say anything. Oh shit. Uh... But maybe he's figuring it out. Well, and he, you know, still thinks that this bridge will one day be used for, yeah. you know, humanitarian purposes or carrying resources or... Yeah. Colonel, there's something rather oh, hard Oh, dude, what are you I doing? I think we better have another look around before that train comes across. Damn uh, it. Okay, like, building the bridge to get your men disciplined and keep, like, have something for them to work on is one thing. But you are fully crossing the line into treason by this point, like, helping the enemy yeah. foil your own country's efforts, you know? Yeah. He's gone mad. He's leading yeah. them right to it. Our own man. You think he'd be intuitive enough to figure out something? Well, he's figured it out, but he's like, yeah, willing to save the bridge no matter the cost. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Fuck. I see. Well, he doesn't know what to do. Stop it! <laughs> what God. are you doing? Yeah, you're gonna have to blow it, Joyce. Blow it, blow it, blow it, man, before he undoes it. Oh, okay, here's the train. Yeah. Just a few more seconds. Oh, God. You gotta fucking blow it, because there's... Yeah. Colonel Saito, have you a knife? Oh, my I God. Realized. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. get the colonel! Ooh! Yes! <laughs> oh, good boy. Yes. <laughs> Tell him. him who you are. Quick. Oh, no! What? What are you? Officer, sir. British officer, here to blow up the bridge. Blow up the bridge, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Your own people, you fuckwit. Bridge, yes, sir. Look out, there's no throat. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Are you kidding? Oh. oh. Joyce, just stab him. Yeah. He's gone mad. Yeah, he's... Oh, what happened? 
Did they get him? I don't know. They, oh, they must have got shot. Oh, no. Oh, yay. Oh, shit. Aw. Okay. Covering fire. You think he'll kind of realize how he'll far? He'll realize who it is. How, but how far he's fallen, he'll yeah. have to. Yeah. Shears, he made it so far. Yeah. You dumb shithead. You. You. Yeah, you. You oh. better. Fuck. Yeah, I think he'll do it. He'll do it. Yeah. What have I done? Yeah. What have you done? Is the train there? God damn it! It's. Almost. Mm. He'll like fall on it as he yeah, dies or probably, something. Yeah, probably, eh? There we go. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> oh. There, there we go. go. You know, girl ride, eh? Damn. What a spectacular yes. dead piece of destruction. Yes. <laughs> you can only film that once. Yeah, yeah. Madness. Yep. Fuck, he got yeah. almost everyone killed. Yes. Stupid son of a bitch. Madness. Oh, there's the sign. Ugh. They got her, though. Well, yep. in a roundabout way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's too bad. They died, though, those I, two. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Near the marching. Yep. Yeah. I guess we pass over like the ruin and the death, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow eh? James Donald. Joyce with Jeffrey Horn. Okay, it's the beginning it said introducing Jeffrey Horn. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Siamese girls. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. What'd you think? That was great. That was great, yeah. Yeah. I thought so too. I was saying to mom off camera that it it the story had a very similar vibe to uh, Crimson Tide. Because a lot of the plot, because or like the meat of the story was about, say, like a, a battle of wills between, mm -hmm. in this case, Saito and Nicholson. I wish and... we would have known, though, what was Saito's intention there? Do you think he was going to kill him? What What was he do? What did he possibly? So he wrote the letter and he had his knife and. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It, it, it's they either didn't really play that out kind of. Thing. Yeah, it's either like he was writing home just to say maybe the mission is done. I'll be home soon, or like in case like. I don't know. He killed himself, or they yeah. told him to kill himself. Like it was just like I yeah. tried. I did my orders. Some I did sort of my a duty. Record of something, I guess. Because yeah. for the second half of the movie, he hardly said a word. That's true. Eh? He was just like cowed, you know. Yeah, or yeah. just like yeah. he wasn't really needed because the Brits were doing everything for him. Yeah, yeah. And it's just so fascinating how for the so much of the movie. You know, like Nicholson and the other officers like resisted or they fought and yeah. argued with Saito and they were trying to do what's best for the men yeah. and everything. And, and, you know, for like, screw the bridge, the men is our concern. Yeah. But then along the way, it just sort of turned where like he he because it, it said like an, an artist like pours like so much of their essence, yeah. their being into their work, like, you know, paintings yeah. and such. And for him, the bridge became like part of himself really like it was mm -hmm. his legacy absolutely. like absolutely yeah when, when he said yeah. to Saito like he was talking about like he'd been in the service for 30 years yeah. been been home for like 10 months of those 30 years yeah it brings to mind uh Marcus Aurelius and Gladiator saying that he knew like four years of peace out of 20 yeah like when yeah. you've lived so much of your life in wartime or at least mm -hmm. in, in the military you sort of you think of like what will I leave behind? You yeah, know, yeah. you might have like a wife and a child back home and that's like your legacy. Yeah. But in this case, the bridge was going like, you know, he went to it's the true. effort of he... putting up a sign. Yeah. This bridge was built by British soldiers. Yeah. But, and their commander was Colonel Nicholson. Yeah. And, and it's just like, you it's know, like he, he didn't have something else to focus. Like, here's all we have at the moment yeah. in front of us. Right. So let's just get on with it. Like our training mm -hmm. and just, yeah. Never mind that it's for the enemy and because even Clifton was saying, I I understand we have to yeah. do the work, but do we have to do it so well? That's right. Yeah. Like we could just keep like you know look after the men, keep them disciplined mm -hmm. is one thing, but like you know like telling them the the better site to build the bridge and doing it ourselves and volunteering to do yeah. the work with the officers after the whole like fucking conflict to begin with yeah. was making sure the officers didn't work right and then like in, not forcing but like using his his like status with the men their mm -hmm. reverence for him to kind of 
coerce some of the sick men to work as well. Yeah. When that was like a that was threat sucky. that Saito yeah. used against him. If the officers yes. don't work, I'll use the sick men. Yeah. And, and it, but they were both similar in that if I if I do it with my man or whatever, if I say it, it's fine. But if you said it, it's not fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty trashy. I thought him I, with the sick man because the other the other was it Clifton that said to him, "What about his mask for some of his men?" And he was like, "No, no, I'll take some of our wounded men, which is yes. ridiculous." Yeah, Clifton was like the voice of reason. He was just like, yeah. "What are we doing?" Yeah. Like he, you know, the, from the beginning, he was all like suspicious of all like the, you know, like directing such so much of your efforts mm -hmm. towards doing this mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And it was just like, I, I have never been so frustrated. I know. As when In he like was like sabotaging oh his my own. Oh God. And he kept like, going. He kept, instead of just kind of yeah think about it for a bit, but he was so like, you're right. He was, the bridge was just everything at the yes. moment to him. This is my monument standing to us right at the moment. And not and even it, thinking who would, who would want to blow up your bridge, the bridge? Who? Anybody well, that's enemies of the Japanese, so there you go. Well, like, like he, he, he made even... speeches of like, you know, this bridge will, you know, like the wounded will move to another camp yeah, and then in like time. Yeah, that's the great thing about it. In all the years to come, people will know that we built this bridge. Yeah. Like, you know, after you go home, yeah. after you're gone, this will be part of Wars when you leave behind. Stuff, but it's yeah. like, all, right now, all you're doing is helping the enemy. Yeah. But it, it almost, there was shades of his character of, say, like like a Dr. Frankenstein type mm -hmm. or like one, a, a character who is undone by their obsession. Yeah, and he wasn't... He wasn't, I didn't see him as a, like a megalomaniac no, or, no. Uh, you know, delusions of grandeur or anything. It was just like a F hyper fixation. Yeah, we're, like just we're a, doing this and I'm in charge and we're, you know. Just an obsession, yeah, you know. Yeah. And it, it's it's so interesting how like, like in the beginning, like maintaining, say, like discipline, the rules and in say like, you know, trying to be act like a soldier, not a slave. Yeah. yeah. How in the beginning, it's it's maybe like a little bit, say, bullheaded. Because you're you're causing people pain by not mm -hmm. going along with the, yeah. the towing the line. Yeah. But all but like at the beginning, you you could say he's staying true to his principles. It's a very noble thing. It could be stupid, but it's mm -hmm. still noble. Mm -hmm. But then that very same intention can be turned almost not villainous, but just like you, so yeah. foolhardy that it's yeah. it's destroying your own yeah. purposes. Yeah. Like no, I was gonna say rose colored glasses, but not he's 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 not seeing it clearly, yes. right? He's just just yeah, seeing it the one way. Yeah, and like in the end, like he was, he, like when he was talking to Saito on the bridge, like it, he was talking to him like an old friend almost. Yeah. Like they sort of, because when he brought him out of the hot box when he was serving him, like, like what was it, like steak or, and mm -hmm. scotch and everything, yeah. he said, What would you do if you were in my position? Like he was trying to, like, uh, bridge the gap. Yeah. You know, trying to, like a peer. Let's yes. See if we trying can, to, yeah. yeah. But the, and, you know, saying, Oh, what would you do if you were me, if I were you, sort mm -hmm. of, sort of thing. But then they almost did kind of like understand each other or yeah. just like come to an accord. Yeah. And this is so like interesting that way, like, but you know. Well, and I really admired him for all of that, you know, the Geneva Convention, like yes. trying to get, you know, to them to follow the rules and stuff. But he just, unfortunately, he went off, off the rails, like, off the rails. No, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, like his convictions through, like, it's not like he defected to the Japanese or anything, but yeah. like his, his convictions ended up being his downfall. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just so fascinating. Yeah. And Alec Guinness, like, what a powerhouse of an actor. Like, oh, like you yes. said, we never once yes. thought about Obi-Wan. No. Because, yeah. like, with Obi-Wan, there was just such, like, a, you know, like, a dignity to him, a wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, so, like, a, you know, charisma to him. Yeah. And here, very much, you know, very charismatic. You know, you could see why his men are so, like, fanatically loyal mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. You know, just seeing him come out of the thing, yeah. they're all, like, in ch cheering. And, yeah. he, and he's such, like, a, you know... Like he said, if if you lose the respect of the men, you lose your command. Oh, of course, yeah. But yeah. just seeing, like, because with this and then with William Holden, with, like, the whole, like, escape and whatever, so, uh, th these are very physical roles. Yes. Like, oh, you know, yeah. and, and just, like, being, because wherever they're filming, even just, like, standing, you're you're baking under the sun. Yeah. And, like, swimming through, like, rivers and very dealing with all the, and all all the stuff, stuff with the tropical yeah. environment and very, you know, wading through water and everything. Yeah. yeah. So it, And then Sears, was that his name? Sears? Shears. Shears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Just oh, how he was yelling at the other at the major. Remember when he he said, "You guys and you're, you know, dying with you British, all, yeah, all rules and stuff." And yeah, basically, yeah. fuck that. Like exactly, yeah. And it was just kind of interesting how, like, you know, he went through this whole thing, you know, agonized, and we got to hear, learn his story and and sympathize, yeah, and, yeah. and it, with him and Joyce, and yet they were the ones who died, and then yeah. Warden was the one who ended up being the other one who lived, you know. 
I was almost expecting him to, because he would be, say, like, Shears is, like, a good guy, but he was, like, a little bit cowardly because he, yes. like, impersonated someone yeah. else, yeah. did everything he could to try and get out of it, which yeah. is a very human response. But he, he, yeah, he, he showed came, up in the He end came or, through, yeah. but I was expecting yeah. Warden to maybe, like, relate to him a certain thing and then maybe, like, die to kind of, like, inspire him to yeah. go on and finish yeah. the mission. Do proper, yeah. But then it, you know, it was just very different with, like, I love how, like, Joyce finally kind of came through and, and you know, like, because he said, I'm not sure if I could do it. Yeah. I think I can. And he came running out. And he killed the colonel, which was very satisfying. Yes. Yeah. But then he sort of had to die for his efforts. And then, then Shears was, like, because he spent so much of the movie trying to get away from, from danger, from yeah. the mission. Ran right towards ran it. Ran headfirst yeah. into it. So he was yeah. a hero in the end. And, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, summed up very nicely with Clifton just being, looking at the ruination around him and just be yeah. like, madness. madness. Yeah. Mad. And then yeah. I, I like how... As we panned away, we heard like the, you know, sort of like the marching and the tune cheering. and the cheering, yeah. like the, you know, like say patriotism, taking pride in your country and your, in your service or mm -hmm. your, your ability as a soldier. Yeah. But we, we can see kind of the dangers of going too far with that. Yeah. Cause like Shears was saying, like, you know, you're, you're trying to die like a gentleman, you know, yeah, and like, like you're, you know, rather than live as a human. Yes. Yeah. So, so some really fascinating, like character stuff yes, going on absolutely here. Absolutely. Right. With, and yeah. with just some beautiful, like location shots. Oh, yeah. and like you said, it must've been in Philippines or Cambodia or, or something. somewhere. Yeah. yeah there in yeah. that region where the bat, cause I'm pretty sure they don't have those giant bats in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We hear more about that. I think. Yeah. 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 And then probably my favorite individual shot, like we said at the time, was when um, Alec Guinness and then the other officers were talking about like moving the bridge and everything when they're on that little raft thingy. Yes. And then the camera just kind of followed them yeah. along and like, you know, for like a good minute or two. And we saw like all those extras like in the back, either working or swimming. Yeah. But it, was, it felt like just so much being done. And well, and like I, a... I was because they're still in the jungle. So how did they. You know they must have had a huge path there or whatever because yeah. they kept it real steady and it was it was a that was a really effective shot yeah in that case i uh, almost want to say it's like a raft that's say like connected to whatever they're on maybe that like the camera's on because there was another one when they were take um at nighttime when they were taking the explosives yeah they had that little raft yes you know, the, right. sort of smeagol right yes true. yeah yeah in that case they were on, on land and i almost want to say they mm -hmm. maybe like carved like a path through the jungle with like yeah. a rail that the camera could just kind of slide along yeah with yeah some really good cinematography in yes this, you know. very good yeah yeah but just i wow i can see why this is such a, a classic yeah you know because i've just heard it mentioned as part of like you know the great pantheon of older movies mm -hmm. and and I can see with this how, like, you know, Alec Guinness was such a, you know, respected oh, yeah. actor. Did it time. win any awards? Let's look. I think on the cover it says winner of, I think, five or six awards. Oh, I would think so. I mean. Yeah. And what, another thing I've heard about Alec Guinness is that he was, a, a, a like, a excellent, um, like, impersonator. Or, like, he would oh, play different right? characters. Yeah. yeah. So, like, when Peter Sellers, like, you know, yeah. one of the best. I've heard it said that when Peter Sellers was coming up. People said that he was like the next Alec Guinness. Oh wow! That's how good Alec Guinness was. Yeah. So it says here, best picture, nineteen fifty eight. Nice. Best best actor, Alec Guinness. Ah. Uh, let's see. So the guy who played the Colonel was nominated for supporting actor. Mm. Winner, best director. Winner, best screenplay, adapted. What about cinematography? Winner, best cinematography. Winner, yeah. film editing, and winner, uh, best music. Yeah. Okay. So it like swept it the Oscars swept the that Oscars. year. Okay. Kind of like Oppenheimer did yeah. just recently. Yeah. But yeah, totally deserved. Like this Absolutely. was just like yeah, such a good. well crafted story. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's I, I was never bored. It was just like so interesting. Yeah, seeing... it's true. And at the end, it was so stressful. I know. Like, like all this, we've done all this to get to this. I point. know. Like the, the whole like. Two and a half uh, hours yeah. leads into that last like ten minutes. Yeah, and this is some yeah. of the most thrilling stuff I've seen. But it sure was nice to see that train go down and the bridge. Yeah, go down and you know it was full of VIPs. So the VIPs, yeah, yeah. and yeah. just like after everything, it's like it may be like a pyrrhic victory because most of our sympathetic characters were killed, but yeah. at least we still like accomplished, you know, the the main goal, you know. Yeah, and then you know, hopefully, you know the. Whoever takes over for the men at the other camp will be a little bit less, you know, prone to obsession and yeah, his yeah, own ego. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that was a just a real masterclass from Alec Guinness. That was a really, really fun movie. So thanks once again to Ian Pullen for requesting yes, this. Thank you. This was a Definitely. terrific movie. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, we will see you later. Bye guys. Bye.